Here are three comics that prove She-Hulk is better than the Hulk for Disney+. Plus. She's been a defender, an Avenger, a member of the Fantastic Four, and she was breaking the fourth wall way before Deadpool ever uttered the word chimichangas. We are of course talking about the Jade Giantess herself, Jennifer Walters, AKA the sensational She-Hulk. She's one of the next Marvel Cinematic Universe characters that's going to make their debut as a TV series on Disney+. Plus. Of course, if you're one of those fans who thinks she's just a female knockoff of her purple pants wearing cousin Bruce Banner, well, <laughs> it's clear you haven't read a damn comic in your life, which is great because we're gonna break it down for you with a few elements from the She-Hulk books that absolutely need to be a part of her Disney Plus series. Now, first of all, a little backstory. Created by Stan Lee and John Buscema back in 1980, the Savage She-Hulk was launched due to the success of the Incredible Hulk TV series, and Marvel wanted to ensure they would own the rights to a female version of the Hulk in case TV producers ever wanted to make a spin-off. In the books, Walters received her powers via blood transfusion from her cousin Bruce, which gave her a milder form of Hulk's condition. Unlike Banner, this usually means she's able to retain her personality, emotional control, and intelligence when she hulks out. But just like Bruce, you wouldn't like her when she's angry, because the madder she gets, the stronger she gets. Now this is about where the similarities end though. Jen generally likes being She-Hulk and is widely considered to be one of the best lawyers in the Marvel Comics universe. It's because of this that her books are usually a combination of superheroic antics, legal dramedies, and straight up comedy. In fact, it's this specific comedy angle that brings us to our first pick, 1989's The Sensational She-Hulk. Largely written and drawn by legendary comic smith John Byrne, the book picks up a couple years after her tenure as a member of the Fantastic Four, which was a run largely handled by Byrne himself. Under his watch, Byrne turned her from what was largely a two-dimensional character into a fully realized superhero, one who embraced her sexuality and didn't take no guff from nobody. But it was also during this solo outing that She-Hulk developed cross-dimensional awareness, the ability to break the fourth wall. Inspired by the show Moonlighting, look it up, She-Hulk would often complain directly to John Byrne and the book's editor, Renee Witterstater, as well as rip through issues advertisements to get to an enemy, or even make demands of the audience, often for comedic effect. While it's an ability that's been played down in subsequent years, if Deadpool antics have been any indication thus far, it's something that we had better see make the leap to both the big and small screen. The next book on the list comes from writer Dan Slott's 2004 run, which plays up the courtroom shenanigans with equal parts superheroics thrown in for good measure. While this series had some problems depicting women, as well as some double standards on the portrayals of female promiscuity versus male promiscuity, there's no denying its combination of art, Ally McBeal-esque dramedy, and occasionally saving the world, which made it A-plus content. After being kicked out of the Avengers Mansion for her hard partying ways, something that was not applied to people like Hercules or Tony Stark back in the day, but hey, that's comics. She takes on a job at a firm practicing superhuman law, representing clients like Spider-Man, Hawkeye, and ghosts. Yep, I said ghosts as in literal ghosts, certified spooky boys. Anyway, however, there's one particularly spicy twist to this book. Did you know that Marvel comic books are considered real in the Marvel Universe? Since Marvel comics have been stamped by the Comic Code Authority, a federal agency, they're considered to be depictions of true events and are therefore part of the public record and admissible in court. While we doubt that Disney Plus would use this deep of a cut into Marvel history as to have comic books used as trial evidence, we're still keeping our fingers crossed because it would be a super cool touch. And finally, the last book we're looking at is the 2014 She-Hulk run where she ditches the big law firm life to open her own private practice. Practice. Like any book starring a six foot seven, 700 pound green skin giantess, there are the usual super heroic fisticuffs, but the heart and soul of this book is in She-Hulk's law career. Written by Charles Soule, a practicing lawyer himself, the book follows Jen as she tries to find justice for her clients, not just with her fist, but with her mind and wits in the courtroom. She's been long described as one of the greatest lawyers in the country, and in this book you see exactly why. In one highly memorable arc, Jen's forced to face off against fellow lawyer slash local daredevil, Matt Murdock, so she can determine the fate of Steve Rogers and thereby Captain America's legacy. Old Man Rogers is named in a wrongful death lawsuit stemming from his days before he was imbued with the super soldiers. Serum. While only lasting 12 issues, this series was a tightly scripted exploration about justice and how helping others doesn't always have to be through cracking skulls. Although, let's face it, it usually helps. Also, if we don't see her face off against Matt Murdock in the courtroom at some point during this show, well, we're gonna riot. Legally. You get it.
Of course, this is really just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the Glamazonian. If you check these out and like what you see, we'd also recommend checking out Mariko Tamaki's run that sees Jen as the Grey Hulk, or when she takes the reins of her own team as the leader of A-Force. But what do you folks think? Are you glad that She-Hulk is finally getting her own TV show? Should she be able to break the fourth wall on said show? And who do you want to see cast as the Jade Giantess? Let's discuss. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy what you saw, why not give us a like and subscribe? And if you want to get notified every time we go live with a show or a brand new video, feel free to mash that little bell so you can be up to date on all the latest news, theories, and rumors in the pop culture world.